Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out of this. In today's video, I'm going to be opening Alakazam EX collection box, a Zapdos DX collection box, a 151 Ultra Premium collection box, and a sealed case of mini tins. These were the Wave 2 release for the 151 products. So without further ado, ado, let's get it. Alright, guys, so here we have it. Here's the Alakazam EX collection box. This one's a lot smaller than the Zapdos one, as you can see. Let me just put it on the screen. Compare these two, it's way smaller. The jumbo card makes it bigger for some reason, but I reckon even with the jumbo card, you could fit it into one of these boxes. I don't know why they made the Zapdos one bigger. But yeah, this was actually released as well. They, all of these products were supposed to release. I think in the US they released on time, which was I think the 6th of October. But in the UK, the Alakazam EX was delayed. Same with the UPC, unless you got the UPC from the Pokemon Center UK. But yeah, this was pretty much all I was waiting for to do a full product opening on so there's the alakazam ex i'm also about to show you the back attack from the bench with alakazam ex there's the contents here's the zapdos ex done a video on this one already um link will be in the description down below to a playlist zap your opponent and make a quick treat with zapdos ex here's the ultra premium collection already done a video as well link will be in the description down below There's the contents, mythical treasures await. Oh, and here's the mini tins again. Already did a video, did a separate video with these and the Zapdos. Um, link in the description down below. Because I thought, you know, I had them. So I did a separate video and then I was waiting for the Zapdos, not the, the Alakazam to release. But there's the mini tins. And yeah, that was all for the products for Wave 2 Scarlet and Violet 151 in the UK. But let's start things off with the Alakazam, Alakazam EX since I haven't already opened it and it's the smallest one out of all of them. Here's your cold copper Alakazam EX collection. I'm guessing you get all three of the promo cards. Here is the Abra Cosmo Holo with no swirls from what I can see. Yeah, no swirls on that one. Here is the Dabra which is finally coming back after 25 years. No swirls either. No, no swirls. And the Alakazam EX. Basically an alternate art of the regular one from the main set, but in Blackstar promo form. And then you get four packs which I left on the side which you probably see as I was showing the promos. Four packs, right, so let's crack these open. But before I start cracking into these packs guys, if you enjoyed my videos and you haven't already, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When I reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer boxes of me hitting 500 subscribers. But without further scooby ado, let's get it. Alright, so, so far, out of all the initial openings that I've done for collection boxes, the Zapdos one, um, the poster, the binder collection, the poster collection, all of them have given me nice, decent, good hits. So, the Alakazam do the same this time round. Pull into our Rattata. Yahoo! Nine Tails EX. There's our first pull, nice, not bad. Already got it though, so it's not really going to do me any good, but nice. Alright, moving on to the second pack. Um. Just an EX from this, I guess wouldn't be too bad. For me, there's only I'm only missing. In terms of EXs, I'm only missing. I think Houndstone, and there was one more. I forgot. I think it was Charizard. I think Charizard and Houndstone was the last two. Or is that from Obsidian Flames? I don't remember. But I know I'm missing the Charizard EX from this for sure. The Brave Reverse Electrode. I am missing a few full arts. I think a few IRs and only three three of the SIRs I'm missing the Charizard the Venusaur and there's one more I forgot what that one more was need a round Oof. oh Jinx EX there's the other EX I was missing this might be the only two Jinx and um, Charizard might be the only EXs I'm missing if I remember right and Golem. I'm missing Golem as well. Yeah, Golem. Last pack. This is probably going to be a long ass video, guys. So grab your snacks, grab your drinks, sit back and relax, guys. 
and hopefully you enjoy the opening um to get that jinx ex out of this two EXs is not bad not bad two out of four pulls and then for me um the jinx ex is for the master set so yeah yeah i'll take it please help pidgeot seal and a gengar high, high five. five all right moving on to the zapdos ex collection box here's the cold card the electabuzz cosmic hollow with no swirls nope no swirls your alternate art zapdos ex black star promo and the jumbo card and you also get four packs from these as well all right so let's cut these open um my initial opening for this one what i can remember gave me good hits i think a full art an ir from this box i thought it was a full art an ir a full art and an ex but it was a full art that i needed at the time anyway so even then even then it was just if it was just a full art it'd still be a good box oh yeah from what i can remember the before you get to the ultra rares or the irs and the full art and stuff like that is it me that's doing it to is it me that's doing that to the packs while I'm opening it? Or is that how they're coming? It has to be me, right? But I don't it doesn't even seem like I'm putting that much strength into opening the packs. So how am I doing that? Anyway. Yeah, the only card I'm missing from like the main set, the commons, uncommons, and stuff like that, is the energy switch. Which I don't which I don't know why it's so hard to pull. That energy switch out of Oh my days, yes. Wow. This pulled through Charizard X. Oh my days. If if throughout this video, 44 packs, there's no way I only pull EXs. Just the EXs. But if throughout this video, I'm only pulling a couple of the ones that I need. Not even the big hitters, like the SIRs or the full arts. If I pull these just for the master set, I'll be happy. Charizard X. Nice. I don't even remember what I was saying now after putting that Charizard X. Nice. My first Charizard X. I think in total, this whole set, up until now, I've opened about 113 packs. 113, that's the first Charizard I pulled. So boy, first Charizard and the first Jinx that I pulled to be honest. And I pulled quite a few doubles of the others. Pikachu, Raichu, Redactyl. Alright, last pack from the Zapdos. I mean, for me, for me. Just going away with that Charizard EX from the Zapdos. I'm happy. Um, from the Alakazam, the Ninetales and the Jinx, I'm happy. Well, actually the Jinx I'm happy, but even then, two EXs from one of these collection boxes isn't bad. Oh, we have even pulled a gold from this Zapdos. Wow. But I've already pulled the Psychic Energy gold. That could have been Mew. That could have been me. That could have actually been me. Damn it. I'm thinking if I should leave the Ultra Premium till last or do the Mini Tins last. I think we should leave the Ultra Premium till last. But then again, this has got 16 packs. The Mini Tins has 20. I was kind of doing it in order of smallness to biggest. Ale well, uh, the Alakazam and Zapdos had the same amount of packs, but the Alakazam was a smaller box. Oh, I don't know. Let's leave the Ultra Premium till last. Alright, so mini tins. And let me crack all of these open, and then I'll be right back. Here's a quick look at all the energy jumbo coins that you get from the mini tins, guys. You get one of each energy from each mini tin. These are really nice jumbo coins. These are really nice jumbo coins if you're a jumbo coin collector. And this is how the artwork looks from the art cards from the mini tins all together the arcanine you might not be able to see because of my face cam they might just be blocking it there you go and here are your 20 packs two in each mini tin let's start cracking these open uh, my first initial opening to this to a sealed mini tin to, to a sealed mini tin case guys oh my days um link in the description down below it was disgusting I don't even know if it's worth watching to be honest it might not be worth watching 
the Zap Dust EX box that I opened in that one. That one's worth watching, but the mini tins, I don't know if you want to watch that. Pleasing. Obviously, I want you to go and watch the sadness that happens during that video. It will help me a lot. Um, but I can't believe it. I can't believe mini tins did me dirty like that in that video. And mini tins, I, it might even do me dirty in this video. You know what I've just realized as well? We haven't pulled a single hollow energy. Probably. 20 packs for mini tins. I think that was the first mini tin that I just opened and not a single hit. I feel like this is gonna be a repeat of what happened in my first mini tin opening. I don't I feel like I'm not gonna pull anything. Magma, Dell Sprout, Shelda, Horsey, Hypno, Video. So far, I mean apart from the gold kind of, nothing really to show for all of these openings. I think my best product of every opening I've done. Might actually be. It's either gonna be my Pokemon Center ETBs or that one regular ETB that I opened. Then again, I've also seen an ETB that had zero, literally zero, nine packs and zero hits. Yahoo! EX. I pulled this in my last one. Literally, I pulled this in my last one as well. This was my saving grace in my last video, but I already got the Mew EX. I guess that I guess at this point all I can hope for is um enough or a lot of reverse verses that I can add to the binder. Because right now all I can see is two cards that I can add to the binder. It's just the reverses I need then. I'm not even a single IR pool yet. Wow. We've opened up about 13 packs. Um one, two, three, four, five pools, 13 packs. I mean not bad. I'm I'm actually judging this based on the pool rarity, I guess. But if you think about it, nine packs, three EXs are gold, four EXs are gold. Yeah, actually, that's not too bad. I'm just complaining because it's EXs. Oh well, there's our first Hollow Energy. Was that the first one that I've never that hasn't been has it that doesn't has that doesn't have a swell bloody hell? Blah, 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 blah. No swell, wow. Our first whole energy that doesn't have a spell, damn. That's the first. Normally they have like two or three. Um, I don't even remember what I said here about complaining about the, the hits. Yeah, not bad to be honest. Now that I think about it. Four EXs and a cold. It's just that one or two of them EXs I can use, which is nice. But again, we're getting almost halfway through the first set of mini tins. And all I can see is all I've gotten so far is the Mew EX. I feel like I have all the products today. These mini tins are going to be the worst when it comes to pull rates. Decay, Nidoran, Clarion. Yep, so far this is the 8 pack from the mini tins and all we've gotten is one EX out of 4 of each from the Alakazam and the Zapdos we pulled two and one of them was a gold card so many times i feel like he's gonna lose this battle yep all right last pack from the one from the left part and so far we've only pulled one card from these mini tins. yeah this is gonna be a disappointing mini tin one again i mean i'm hoping i'm really hoping the ultra premium one isn't gonna be that disappointing because that would make this whole video pretty much disappointing with the hits keybone not a single IR as well yet. I think IRs are probably the most rare things to pull out of this set. The IRs are probably the most rare pulls out of this set compared to everything else. Um, when I think about it, I pulled a decent amount of other rarities more than the IRs. Oh yes, all my days. Giovanni's Charisma full up. Yes, there's one card that I need and there's a full up. Maybe, maybe, just maybe this mini tin is going to come through for me this time. At least this time I pulled a full up from it. Even if I get two cards again. Last time I only pulled two cards. But at least this time I'm pulling a full up. Giovanni's Charisma nice. The texture on this. The look. This card is nice. When I tell you these full ups, guys, 151's full ups. You, see, you have to see them in person. They look beautiful in person. Giovanni's Charisma.
you know what from this video if i can get oh, i'm just gonna speak too soon but that ultra premium gives me at least one card back whether it's an L, an ex or anything just like these minutes and so far everything has given me at least one thing that i need from the master set which is all i hope for to be honest when i open up these products like any product just one thing for the master set you to yeah that's all i hope for and so far each product has given me at least one pull at least one pull that I can use for the master set which i'll take and then on top of that as well um the reverses if i can pull multiple reverses that i need i'm happy i'm gonna oh yeah have i pulled Let's go. oh man oh man i was gonna get so happy but we pulled another charizard ex pull up i've got this one already but nice it's nice to pull two of these it is nice to pull two of these nice charizard ex sweet all right this time these minutons are coming through these minutons are actually coming through two full arts a charizard a charizard full art i mean a giovanni's charisma which i already have i mean the charizard already have but that's a big pull anyway and then giovanni's charisma which i don't have yes 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 although that charizard as much as i like charizard is probably more expensive than the other two i would have preferred it to be blastoise or venusaur that would have been nice so i mean all right all right nice 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 i'll take it but no uh, no irs yet no illustration rares um so far i would say this mini tin um collection is probably gonna win the product battle but still no irs not a single ir yet wow it opened up 23 packs so far 23 packs and we've only we haven't seen a single ir wow can't believe it. we've seen every other rarity apart from sir and the ir probably the two hardest rarities to pull from this set to be honest actually now that i think about it so i'm not seeing them in a way Keeps it right. oh my days yes oh my days the redemption time from this these minute in blast oh this is a beauty of a card wow this is a beauty of a card guys in person oh my days i'm telling you man i think all of you would know by now baby blue light blue is my favorite color and this card just oh my the background the, this pops What would be epic what would actually be epic if i can pull the trifecta plots the starter trifecta of plots that would be absolutely epic oh my days it's not gonna happen though it's not gonna happen there's no way that happens pidgey probably will Kakuna, and so those transfer go back bulbasaur machoke chance all right so the hollow energies are starting to show up a bit um Five so far from these mini tins. Five so far from these mini tins. Oh my days. Three full arts. Three full arts from these mini tins. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. One of them I already have. Would have been nice if it wasn't. To be honest. Would have been nice if it was Venusaur. From um, Erica. Wow. This is a full art mini tin. Oh my days. A full art full mini tin. As it was losing focus, Kangaskhan. I already have this one though. See, ah, oh, see, this is a full art. So this could have been Venusaur. This could have been Venusaur, and I could have pulled the trifecta full art. Alright, two packs left. Um, four full arts, you know, four full arts. Wow, this, this is definitely redemption time for the Minitins. Definitely redemption, redemption time. As I'm pull, ripping these packs open, the quality on these, the, the cold card anyway, it's disgusting guys, it's disgusting. There's there's little bumps and thingies in them, Psyduck, Pekins, Cubone, Big Air Balloon, Primate, Hero, Nidoran, Drowsy, Moltres. Alright, last pack from the Minitons, yes, oh, I'm definitely happy this time about the Minitons. 
still again like i said not a single ir where's all the irs at man where's all the irs at i think now that i think about it, because how rare the irs are most of them are actually holding their value like the irs in this set are actually holding their value the fairy mature Gyarados, nothing in the last pack and then leaving what should be the best for last guys hopefully the best anyway um in terms of the promos anyway that would kind of make it the best to open but ultra premium collection time here are the promo cards from the ultra premium collection i've already done an opening of this a detailed opening anyway of this box so i'm gonna leave these sealed in this would be nice actually because you can display them um with the thing if you peel this part of the back it becomes like a flat and you can actually display them but as you can see that metal mew card and the actually slides around uh, if only that why 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 anyway um i've watched a few openings as well i don't know how people don't realize that all you have to do to pull the promos out is that they literally tear the whole thing open just to get the promos out when all you literally have to do is slide them up I don't know how people didn't realize that i don't know how people didn't realize that or even try it because in the video they don't even attempt it they just tear the thing apart i mean i guess as a kid you would tear this apart just to get to the promos anyway but still i don't know anyway yeah little run off but yeah and then you get 16 packs eight on the left side eight on the right side so eight eight but before we start cracking into those guys if you're currently enjoying the video and you stuck with me this far i'd appreciate it if you could leave a like subscribe turn notification on for more when i reach 500 subscribers i'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent elite trainer box as of me hitting 500 subscribers without further ado ado, let's get it all right first pack from ultra premium i was gonna make this video kind of an off, off topic video to talk about um spider-man 2 because um he's released at the same time as spider-man 2 with ultra premium and alakazam released at the same time as um spider-man 2 yeah 20th yeah yeah, yeah 20th october yeah but i'm kind of pull rates and talking about other stuff um kind of ended up not going there but i guess now i can kind of go there um i i'm pretty sure every pokemon fan or or vice versa if you're a gamer you like pokemon more than likely if you're a pokemon fan you like gaming so i'm sure a lot of my fans out here like gaming so i don't know if you're a ps a console gamer or a pc gamer but if you do have a ps5 and you're currently playing spider-man 2 how are you guys like how, how is it for you are you enjoying it as much as i am because oh um, i am loving it i am loving play spider-man 2 this time around I mean, Spider-Man and Miles Morales, they were good games, but oh, Spider-Man 2 has blown out of the ballpark, more or less. What's that little bit for you? So yeah, I've been banging out Spider-Man 2 so far. I'm loving it. Um, Over the two days that I've played it, I think I'm on like 50% in terms of story, but I'm taking it easy at the same time as um doing like the trophy stuff. I probably won't I might try to do the trophy stuff in one run because you can by the looks of it in this game but yeah I'm taking it easy doing the trophies stuff like that on my days so far I think this is the fourth pack in the ultra premium and we haven't pulled anything I mean in the mini tins it did the same the last half had the better hits the right side had the better hits I think from what I can remember um Sprout, but still i want to see at least one ir saying that now even if i see one it's probably gonna be a double exactly close. oh my day yes 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 ultra premium collection has come through oh my days yes venusaur ex sir yes yes from what i've seen in terms of ultra premium collections like one every other ultra premium has like a sir you get at least one sir guaranteed and all my days are called venus or ex and like oh, this would have been beautiful if it was charizard this would have been the best if it was charizard 
that would have been the most expensive card for me out of the way but i would take venus off for sure oh my day this is a beauty of a card as well this is an absolute beauty of a card double banger double banger but it's a blaster zx which i already have <laughs> that would have been sick if it was venus or the venus one and the venus one. oh my day that would have been sick but nice our first pull from the ultra premium was a venus or ex and a blaster is full up wow um that leaves me with two sirs that i need left um Charizard and Zapdos. Oh, I want that Zapdos, man. That Zapdos one is nice. That might actually be my favorite SIR from this set. That Zapdos SIR is beautiful, man. Hypno, water, too. Like I said, our first IR. And we've got a Dragon, which I've already got. I knew that was going to happen. I just knew that was going to happen. Our first IR would be a double. I knew that would happen. I actually knew that would happen. Um, I mean, so far, what I dare say, actually, I don't know, three full arts, four full arts from the Minitons. Oh, four full arts from the Minitons over a full art from the SIR Venus. Field. I don't know. I don't know. There is a Charizard in those, amongst those full arts. And a Blast Boys out of those four full arts. So, uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if I should say the Minitons will still win right now. I can't see the teeny. Right, all right, next stack of eight from the right side of the Ultra Premium. Left stack was stacked with the double banger there. And then the one IR. So, SIR Venus. And then Blast Boys full art. Dragon IR. Oh, nice. Please give me at least one more. Please give me at least one more IR. Traveler, Peter Queen, Nanky. I don't think I've pulled any of the starter IRs, have I? Actually, I might. I think I've pulled Ivysaur. And Ivysaur might be the only one that I have pulled. Now that I think about it. Have I pulled Water 2? I haven't pulled any of the, the baby ones, I guess. Bulbasaur, Charmander, or... Um... Squirtle. Definitely not. I'm 100% sure I've pulled Ivysaur. 100% sure I've pulled Ivysaur. But I don't think I've pulled any of the others. Um, yeah. Ivysaur might be the only one that I've pulled in terms of the starter IRs. I would like to pull at least one more, come on. Those I think might be the more expensive IRs to buy singly in this set. I mean, all of them are, mostly. Um, I'm trying to think now, think back at some of the videos I've watched. I'm trying to see which IR that I saw the most pulled, but I just can't remember. That's how they're ready because IRs barely show up. So I can't even tell which ones are, you know, more common. I'm thinking after this video, I think this might actually be my last open video. I might be more, I'm not too sure yet. I might, may just be more. Um, if, I say it's depending on if I can get my hands on boost ones, because I don't want to buy, I definitely want to buy any more premium collections. Um, I don't really want to buy any more Zapdos boxes. Minitins might be the only way to go, but I don't really want to buy Minitins as well. Everything's sold out. Everything's sold out, Everything's sold out literally. Um, if Booster Bundles were sold out, I'd go for Booster Bundles, but Booster Bundles were sold out. So yeah, if stock becomes readily available, then I think I might be more open. But this could be the final opening, guys. This could be the final opening before I do a master set. I'm thinking about it now as well. I'm going to do a find update after. I think this is over 150 packs. So after this video, it should be over 150 packs. Uh, um, so I might do a find update on that. It was, you know, one. Two packs left, and we've only pulled three hits from this. See, this is the thing about Ultra Premium Collection. Um, I don't think there's been a wow Ultra Premium Collection I've seen so far. I'm not too sure. It, from most of them that I've seen, yeah, you get an SIR, a full art, and something else. Like, it's like three or four pulls that you get, and then you SIR is really the best part out of that ultra premium that you open and then the rest is like not that great or that could be the only thing that you get if i remember correct as well this is kind of the exact thing that happened with my other upc not exact obviously not with the um, double bang of the venus or and blast or it wasn't a sir and full up but i think i pulled a sir a full up and the ir or well, i might not have even pulled the full up and just the ex and it looks like that's what's gonna happen now wow all right guys so that was all of 151's wave 2 product lineup um from the Alakazam EX box, we pulled a Ninetales EX and a Jinx EX, so two full arts. I mean, two EXs. This was from the Zapdos, the Charizard EX, and the Gold Psychic Energy. This was from a sealed case of mini tins. Oh my days, I can't believe it. Four full arts and an EX. In my last one, disgusting, I only pulled two EXs. And then from the Ultra Premium Collection, we pulled full art Blastoise the EX. This was a double bang out of one pack. So Blaster CX and Venusaur and Dragon. So when you think about it, out of 16 packs from the Ultra Premium Collection, only two of them had hits. So two packs out of the 16 from the Ultra Premium had hits. Uh, uh, at this rate, I mean, in a way, it looks like you, one out of one of every other UPC, you're going to get a SIR. So if you're hunting SIRs, maybe. This is a good way to open it. You might get lucky and get more. But guys, let me know in the comments down below which you would say one out of the Ultra Premium and the Mini Tins. Four full arts versus a full art and a Venus or IR. I don't know, to be honest. I really don't know. As much as I love the Venus or EX, this IR, this beauty of your card, as much as I love it, I think. 
because of the Charizard and the Blastoise. Full Arts. My Trumpet. Don't know. I don't know. But yeah, guys, that was every product from Wave 2 of the Scarlet and Violet 1 expansion. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me this far and you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When I reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent feature numbers of me hitting 500 subscribers. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.